So you're chatting with your friend or maybe someone who's just giving you a link through the social media messages or any of this messaging application. And what happens is then, of course, your best friend forever on the right here, Mr. Hacker Loy, has already created this fake website that is going to use the credentials that you have. Say, for example, on the back end of the website, you have your cookie information, your session ID, and all these are the details of it. And the moment you click onto the link, it fires off over onto the site here. And perhaps they may ask you to click onto the link to execute on some actions, either through the URL that's gonna redirect to the actual site, or they will use your credentials, your existing credentials here of your cookie session ID to make you do things, for example, like sending an extra message to all of your friends list. And this is what we call as a cross-site request forgery attack. Now, big disclaimer before we go any further, there will be a demonstration of how it's done. And of course, once you click onto it, it will execute code on behalf of your login session. So what that means is that your mom has to give you permission to start hacking. <laughs> so right here, I'm on a Windows computer, locked in a script kitty loy, and I'm gonna enter, I dare you to hack me. And of course, I hit over into my Kyle Linux machine right here. I have the following. We're able to see a messaging application that we received a message from Script Kitty Loy. So this is a messaging application. I'm logging as Mr. Hacker Loy in Kyle Linux. And I can enter, for example, challenge accepted. So this is a simple messaging application. And what we're gonna do now is that we do not know the password of script key Lloyd, but we will force script key Lloyd to say something or type something and submit a message into this application without their consent. So this is something we'll be doing. So what we can do now is I've created a website over here. I am in the current working directory of fake website. And what I will go ahead and do right now is to show you this piece of code that I've created. I can enter the following a pseudo theme followed by fake website.html. And you can see the title of fake price claim. And right over here, we have your price will be processed shortly. And we have the following, and we're submitting to this specific part of the website, the messaging application, which is hosted on IP address of 192.168.0.207 slash chat slash post.php with the method of post. And we have a hidden value. This hidden value states, I'm stupid. So we're gonna force script kitty Lloyd to say right that. And we have a button that script kitty Lloyd can click onto. So with that in mind, I hit back over all right, so let me go ahead and enter escape, followed by quit. And what I will do now is go ahead and launch and host this using Python 3. I hit enter on that, so it is being served right now. And I need to create a link, all right? So in this case, our link will be as such, which is having the IP address of color Linux followed by port 8000, which was the one that I showed you earlier on terminal, followed by slash fake website.html. I click send on this. So now, Script Kitty Lloyd will click onto this link to receive the free money. So if I was to navigate over into Script Kitty Lloyd, I can see that it's a free money link where I click onto it and it launches over into a specific site here. And this site is hosted on Kotlin Linux. I click Submit Query and we have sent something over into 192.168.0.207 chat post.php. So now if I head back over into the site here, you can see the following. Oh, there you go. We have submitted and forced script Katie Loy to do something that they did not want to do. And to even bring this to the next level. What I'm gonna show you now is I head back over into Color Linux. I can modify the code here. So I go stop the server. I will go ahead and modify the fake website here by removing the comment that I've created earlier. So I'll go ahead and remove the comment. So we have a script. And what this script does for us is that it automatically submits the form on our behalf, all right? So you can see right here, window on load, document.get element by ID and so on. And right here, I'm gonna enter the following of I am real stupid. So when script Kitty Loy clicks on it again, 
I am real stupid will be submitted on behalf of whoever clicks onto the link and is logged into the site. I hit enter on this to host the file. I hit back over here and I state the following. All right, again, I'm giving the link. Please try this link in state. All right, so I give the link right now. I hit back over to my Windows computer. I click onto this link. All right, I'll click and open it as a new tab. So you see the new tab right here and it says the following, I am real stupid. Automatic submission without even the user having to click the claim price button. And we can build such a site by going to the top right corner. And if I click onto the more tools and under web developer tools and under the network tab, I'll zoom a little more so it's easier for you to see what's going on over here, is when I submit something, say for example, I enter the following of hello, I hit enter on send and I'll pause the inspection of capturing and recording of the network locks and I scroll down further, there's a lot of read lock going on but what's most important is the one right here, post.php. So there is something that was posted when we entered hello and we can see they went over into this specific link and you can see under the request, we have a text hello. So this is the mandatory section, which coincides with the form that we have created as part of passing the values of this specific parameter.